Hey gang, this is William, but you can call me Bill, from GrowLightSource.com. Daryl Cotton, technological maven and president of Indigro, is going to explain our latest option for greenhouse growers, a way to save lots of energy and get the best results possible. Hi YouTube, this is Daryl at Indigro, and today we have a message for the greenhouse growers. Uh, any greenhouse grower is going to rely on sunlight, and if the sunlight levels are satisfactory to keep your mold counts and the plants happy with the photosynthetic nutrition that they're seeing, great. But if you do go to supplemental lighting, the big choices have always been the metal halide or the high pressure sodiums. And the problems with both of those are they're not full spectrum, they're not going to cover vegetative to flower and bud, and their strike times and startup times will go anywhere between a couple of minutes to up to 15 minutes, depending on if it's a restrike or a, a a cold start. Induction goes on and off instantly. So it allows us to tailor the light to the area underneath the plant and assist in mold counts if the sunlight's not providing it. But there are other features that we can incorporate, such as a control system that we've added. And what I'm going to do is invite you to take a look at our two meters here. We have a watt meter. We're showing 117 volts. We have a 0.54 current draw, 64 watts, uh, 60 cycles, and a power factor of 1, so it's perfect power. So we're going to leave us on the 0.54 uh, current draw right now. Is that amperage current? Okay, right there, 64 watts. And on the top of these fixtures, we put an optical sensor. It's very small, but it's designed to recognize the amount of sunlight streaming in and then with the user-defined gain switch allow you to tailor it instantly to the light levels that the plant's needing should the sunlight not be able to reach it. And here I have a black body. We're going to go ahead and simulate total darkness and watch the light levels. They will instantly go from 550 foot candles to 1035 and rising. And my current draw is now up to 119 watts. So this is roughly 200 micromoles where we're seeing it here on a quantimeter. But regardless of the sensor that you're using, what I'm showing that this can be done in a 100, a 200, or a 420 watt series as an option to the greenhouse growers to pick up supplemental lighting at the levels that the plant needs to stay consistent. The sensitivity gain allows us to take the optical sensor from a low sensitivity to a high sensitivity range. So we're currently at a 65 watt connected load and it's recognizing simply office lighting as the sun and we're going to go ahead and back that off to least sensitivity and as least sensitivity goes this is now 82 watts and we added two steps of illumination to the uh, optical sensor. Okay. Uh, another way to illustrate this is with a standard business card. We'll go ahead and take that, it's somewhat transparent to the eye, and we'll put it over here. And as you can see, instantly it's adjusting up and down, it doesn't hurt the driver or the lamp, it doesn't affect lamp life. What it does affect is your utility bill. And we've now got 118 watts connected, and as I take my card and adjust it up, I'll allow some sun in. and it'll drop to the 82. Let me go ahead and increase sensitivity on this. And this will be where the greenhouse grower defines at what level or what threshold he wants these to kick in. So I'll put it right about in the middle here. It takes a small screwdriver to do that. And I'll go ahead and uh, put what it recognizes as uh, fairly close to complete darkness. Yeah, it's complete darkness now, but we'll start adding a little sunlight in by bending the card up. As you can see, it will find the place where it's satisfied that the mole count has been met and it will maintain that until such time that the conditions change at this fixture. So it can be used in tandem with what other lighting controls you might have up line of this and those controls can turn these systems on or off completely if that's what you desire. Or you can use this as a standalone system communicating to a in this case, it's an Argus Titan system, but the, any of the control systems out there that have I.O. modules could accept this data and uh, keep you informed as to how your plants are doing. So if you like this video, you know, like us on YouTube. If you have any questions at any level technically, 
we here at Indie Grow are designed to help you, the grower, come up with the best solutions for your growing environment. Thank you for watching.